And we are excited to have in the Best Talks Network studio, Dr. David Genicove. He is the owner and director of the Genicove Plastic Surgery Group, one of the best plastic surgeons in the state of Texas and operates right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dr. Genicove, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jim. All right, Dr. Genico, what can a patient expect when they have a procedure with you? When someone comes to our office, we have folks who've been with us for now almost 17 years, and consistency in care is something that we really, really uh, think is important for our patients. We take personal care of our patients, physicians, uh, our PAs, our physician assistants, our nurses, our medical assistants are all there to, to help our patients. And so we kind of take, as I say, a grandmotherly approach. Uh, we see them often. We see them um, after surgery. We talk to them before surgery. We have an open uh, office uh, for our patients. So if they think they need to come in, they're more than happy to come in. Additionally, in some of our patients after surgery, they really have a hard time getting out of bed or having getting to the, to the office and we make house calls when we're able to do that because some of our patients either live alone or they um, are older and getting transportation is difficult so we'll go out there and see them. Additionally, we have them op operated on at Forest Park Medical Center in Dallas, Frisco or Southlake and there's no better place to have an operation. So our goal is to treat every single patient as if they were a member of our family. And we wouldn't do anything on any of our patients that we wouldn't do on members of our own family. Good point. And I know this has happened. Someone's told me this, that actually after you fix the face, they come back in and say, hey, can you do something to my body? What do you tell them? Well, fortunately, in our practice at Genico Plastic Surgery Group, there's three surgeons. And everyone has kind of a unique skill set. We're all basically trained very similarly. We all have cleft and craniofacial reconstructive plastic surgery training, but additionally, uh, one of the guys uh, has more of a breast focus, one of them has more of a body focus, and we work together to try and give the patients really what they need. And if, it, if one of my partners actually has a better uh, capability in certain areas, for instance, in a breast lift or a breast reconstruction or something, I'll be more than happy to have my patients go to him because that's who I would send my family to. Dr. Genikov, what makes your facial procedures different from the others? Well, it's a really good question, Jim, because generally uh, physicians have a very systematic approach to surgery, which is what we're supposed to do. However, over time, you use the same systems on the same patients time after time after time, and whether it's rhinoplasty or nose surgery or facelifts or anything else, they tend to all look alike. Because when I've done my training in cleft and craniofacial surgery, all those patients are different, and we have to devise an operation that fits just for that patient. There are similarities, of course, but each patient is treated as an individual, and so my approach has been that the operation should fit the patient, should fit their needs, and should make them look more youthful, make them look younger if possible, more well-rested, but not pulled or tight or like anybody else in the office. And so I may have a systematic approach, but it's individualized to each patient so that they don't end up looking like a whole bunch of other patients that come out of the office. All right, Dr. David Genico, the owner and director of Genico Plastic Surgery Group. Great to have you, appreciate Thanks, it. Jim.